100 mini mystery figurines. Yes, we're going to be unboxing the next 50 of these mini brands mystery boxes. For those of you who don't know mini brands, they are a mystery box of tiny figurines that you can collect. And every season they come up with different kinds of figurines to collect. And they range everything from miniature toys, miniature foodies, and yes, even tiny purses and bags. And of course, we can't forget Disney. They have the Disney one. And so today we're going to be doing a review to see if these are worth your cash or if they go in the trash. If you want to watch the first 50 unboxing, I will link it down below. But the goal today is to see if we can get an ultra rare. In the previous video, we actually got some rares, which is really rare. <laughs> so I do have my hopes up. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite thing to collect? I've always been a huge fan of stickers, miniature items, and anime figurines. I just, this is how it works. I want to know what your things is. And while you're down there, and especially if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. It'll turn you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. Just join us. This is a sharp pointy thing. I do wave it. We end up liking it. Don't pretend. This is a perfect time to remind you, Grains and YouTube, that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power, not for little ones. My content never was and never will be for kids. All right, so to get started, we're just going to have to move everything to the side. Just give me a second. Don't, don't pressure me. There. So short. Oh my god. Got you. And voila. Now it does say there are over 90 to collect, so it's going to be interesting to see how much of a variety we're going to get from the previous collection. And in the previous video, we saw that in every single box, we do get tiny cash, which I have lovingly put into my tiny safe, and I keep it over here. I'm just gonna be collecting these tiny monies. <laughs> As always with the first mystery box, we're going to go ahead and open it in real time just so that you can see how much of a pain in the butt these unpacking experiences are. I have to remind myself how obnoxious they are. Oh my god, please. Despite the fact that we have pulley tabs over here and the zipper shows to open it this way, these things will just not open until you have a sharp pointy thing. So let's do a little slice here and a little slice there. And even with that kind of help, it still wants to break, you see? Bruh. Why you do that? Why you break my heart and then make me cry? All I want to do is enjoy you, but you make it so difficult. All right, so we're just going to go in manually. This is such a pain in the butt. But generally, the second layer is usually much easier. Let's pull you out. Very nice. And my favorite part is removing this top. And let's hear that plop. Yes. So I can already tell that the guide is going to be in here and I'd like to show you a little bit more. And voila, and what are you though? That is not the guide. Wait, that's the item. Oh, that's another safe. That's cute. I'm not gonna complain, I love the safe. I mean, I did show it off at the beginning and you could put your little tiny money in here. Look at that. Next. <gasps> Oh, that's a Hello Kitty. Is that a special edition one? Don't tell me we started so soon. Hang on, we don't know. I don't think so. I think that's the regular Hello Kitty, but let's take a look at the guide. And we do get money in every single one, which is cute. I love the tiny money. Here we have a stack of 20s. Very nice. It's gonna go in my safe. And... Voila. Okay, so my hopes were up. It seems for it to be the frozen moments which are ultra rare, the Hello Kitty card needs to be coming out of the box. Same for everything else over here. The item should be coming out of the box. Then we have rose gold, gold, glow in the dark, metallic, and then we have a huge collection of common type figurines. They range everything from cute to board games, to controllers, to fidget toys, a little bit of everything. I have to say for me, I'm most excited about anything that is not just a box print because those are just basically lazy designs. All right, but now we continue because we do have a Hello Kitty car. Oh my goodness, look how tiny this is. These are really small, just so you have an idea. Here it is next to my finger. And yes, this is my fingernail on my index finger. So it's not like I'm using my pinky, although they kind of feel like the same size. <laughs> And here's what she looks like. It says remote control car. Here's what the side is and the back and the other side bottom. Oh, it even shows instructions of how to add the batteries. Okay. I am tempted to take her out though. Not take her out, but like take her out. Okay, let's see this cute car. Come on. So tiny, my goodness, even the plastic wrapping here. And here she is in her full glory. This is heavier than I expected. Way heavier than I expected. Very cute. Oh, we have a box. 
No, what is that? Looks like a tiny microphone for music, kind of like karaoke. So here's what it looks like. We have a little wand. Here's what the side looks like. The back clearly enjoying some music and the other side. This is cute. I thought this would just be a box, but it's not. Aha! A controller. Now I don't want to do spoilers into the previous episode, but just in case we did get these. And I'm not mad because this is actually touchable. Look at that. You can actually push the buttons in and it acts as a tiny fidget toy that you can put in your pocket. It kind of just squish something around while you're waiting for the bus or just sitting in your office or your classroom. It's pretty quiet. Listen. Kitty editor, do you hear anything? I didn't think so. It's really, really calming. Oh, Piggy! My goodness! Now this is a trend I never got onto, but Piggy, I believe, is a horror game. Kitty Editor, please correct me if I'm wrong. But this was such a huge trend even in the Roblox community. And here we have a figurine, and it looks like it comes with a hat. The box is really neat because it is the shape of a pig head. And it even shows you what characters you can get from this collection, which is pretty neat. If we get a second one, I will definitely open it and put the hat on top of the character, but that's pretty cool. Bad enough. Why does that look like cake? My mind went straight for cake, and you are? You know what, I wasn't wrong. It's a Cards Against Humanity Everything box. It's kind of like the Everything Bagel, which is not a cake, but it is a the bagels. I love bagels. And yes, it is. It's just cream cheese in between two pieces of bagel breads. This is what it looks like. This, see, this is the design I don't like, because you open the inside and there's nothing going on, so not too keen on this. Just the box. Oh, what is you, money? In you go, stacks of five. Is that the littlest pet shop? No, that's Pets Alive. And we have a, a hot dog, a dachshund, da dachshund, da dachshund, dachshund, da dax. I want to say dachshund. Kitty editor, please. How does Google say it? Dachshund. Dachshund. No way. So it says I walk, waggle, and shake, which is kind of cute, I guess. Here's a video of it doing its thing since I don't actually own any of these. Here's what it looks like from the side, the back, and 360. Why does this dog look like it's seen things? Like, oh my god, she's pronouncing my name wrong. <laughs> and here's the top. I love the fact that this is kind of like a tiny window. Very cute. Oh, a Tamagotchi! I love Tamagotchi and I love these tiny little boxes and figurines and these little virtual pets that you could play with. This is before cell phones were a thing. So we had these in elementary or high, even high school, we played around with these. Everybody had one. Well, if you were, if you had money, you had one. Otherwise you had an, a Giga pet like me and I had a T-Rex and I loved it. The design of this box is super cute. Oh, well that just rolled out into my hands. What are you? Pet Rescue Mystery Boxes by Zuru. So Zuru is the same company that does the mini brands. So they're basically promoting their own products. Okie dokie. I'm not sure what they look like, but you can see them here on the screen. I'm not sure if that's something that I would personally unbox. It just doesn't feel interesting enough. Oh, a fidget spinner. Okay, that is that is pretty cute and tiny, but it really doesn't spin enough. I'm guessing there's just no bearing on the inside to make it spin enough. We have a My Little Pony. Why did I say it like that? We have a My Little Pony. I don't know. Listen, I got a little comfortable, okay? I just talked to you like how I talked to all of my siblings, and now you know I can get pretty obnoxious. And we have a Flutter Shy. Very cute. I love this figurine. I love the fact that it's in a box that is pretty oval. You can see the top. I kind of have a thing for boxes that are transparent. And we have the graphics all the way around. Why does this thing want to fall? It's so slippery. There you go. But I feel like the front of the hair is missing. That could just be me. Maybe Fluttershy's hair is a little receding. But that's okay, you're cute still. Oh, what's this? Oh my goodness, the face on this thing. Wait, let's find our money. Where's my money? Where's my stack of tens? Very nice. In you go. And this horse figurine, I don't know why. It makes me a little uneasy. It reminds me of Bendy and the Ink Machine. A little bit of a 50s vibe to them with big teeth and big eyes. And it is a Play-Doh character. So since I have no idea how this looks like in real life, this is basically what this figurine is supposed to do and mimic and basically be interactive. Ooh. Oh, that is another Hello Kitty. Is this a special edition one? Is it? I don't think so. This is the Hello Kitty iHome speaker Bluetooth. That's really neat that we're getting Hello Kitty. My goodness. 
so tiny. It looks like the special edition one is actually a rose gold. So we're kind of getting close, not quite there. But that's twice now we're getting the Hello Kitty without the special edition. So hopefully we can get something this, this video, we need to get it. Although I do have to say the face is a little odd. I think the eyes are supposed to be a little further apart. Yeah, I think the eyes here are a little too close. Let's go ahead and take her out. Why am I struggling? Voila, and the cute little window taken out. Here you are, one of the tiniest Hello Kitties ever. So cute. Oh, what happened to your head? No, Hello Kitty, no! No. Oh, you know what? This actually makes sense. It's a speaker. <laughs> I got a little over dramatic here. A light bright box. I used to love this when I was a little grain. So it's kind of a frame that you put tiny lights into and you can make your own little drawing or art and it becomes a night, a light, a night, a night light. Wow, I can't do night, light, night, night, bright, night, bright. Night, light, light, bright. Wow. And it's very nostalgic. I even remember the commercial for that. Light, bright, light, bright. Oh. Oh, a bloom. Bloom are mystery boxes of figurines that kind of look like fairies, if I'm not mistaken. I know I unboxed one a long time ago with my sister Sika, but this here is just the outside container. So we don't actually get to see anything on the inside. So it's kind of a meh figurine. Is that golden? No, that is not golden. We have Zuru Oosh Slime. Not sure why this person kind of reminded me of Jojo Siwa. And listen to that. That's actually pretty satisfying. There is a foam on the inside and it shows you what kind of slime colors you can get. Nothing special, but it does sound nice. Oh, we see the money. Let's pull out the money. <laughs> Two things in here, a stack of 50s. Very nice. The safe is never gonna get too old. And the figurine we get looks like Transformers. Yes, and we do have Optimus Prime and Sky Turbine. And we actually do get figurines on the inside. So if you want to take them out, you actually have to break this seal. And it's a really hard plastic and it's kind of difficult to get rid of. So you do need pliers, but here's what they look like. Definitely lacking in detail, but that's just the price to pay when you're going mini. Another box. Yeah, that is another box. No, I definitely judged this way too quickly. We have the blue Power Ranger, which I think they're making a new movie coming out. I could be mistaken, but yeah, it's old school shows. Are there any other Rangers or just the blue Ranger in this series? It looks like it's only the blue Ranger. Interesting. I think the blue Ranger was the least favorite of everybody. <laughs> but yeah, here you go. And here's the back. We don't even get a Ranger that transforms. It's kind of sad. I know I'm complaining, but I have to say so far, this is probably one of my favorite mini brand sets. The figurines are pretty interesting. I'm just, I'm just salty by nature. Okay, yeah, there's a salt shaker behind me. It is what it is. Sorry. This is a really old school board game. I think the goal is to try and push people out of your way so that you can get to your goal first. It's been a long time since I've played a board game like this. And here we only have a box, which is very unfortunate. I would really love to see more than just that. It's kind of making me want to play this with my siblings. <gasps> we have a metallic, my goodness. And it is a set of Spirograph. For those of you who don't know Spirographs, I was very obsessed with these when I was a little gray and just make some cool mandala type geometric stuff. So this is our first rare in this unboxing video. If you do want to see what rares we got in the previous video, again, I will link it down below. But again, too bad it is just the box. Here's what it looks like in the back and the front. Very, very holographic. We have a Poppet Fidget Toy Ice Cream. This is absolutely adorable. I love the colors. These are some of my favorite color combinations, which are very akin to the primary colors. Let's go ahead and push those inside. Oh, no, do not pop just yet. No, stop popping. Me and my sausage fingers here trying to get you in. All right, very nice. Let's hear that pop. Very nice. And it is small enough for you to put in your pocket so that you can carry it with you. I do love me some portable fidgets. What are you? Oh, another Transformers, but where's my money? There's my money. We have a stack of 50s. You're going in with my other stacks. <laughs> this is unhealthy. And it looks like we have Megatron and Chopper Cut. Here's what the side looks like, so you can get a better look at the characters. And here's the back, here's the side, here's what it looks like. 
Oh, what are you? I feel like I'm saying that quite often. And you are an Angry Birds tiny vehicle. The back is kind of plain and the box is okay. Looks like a banana bird. It's called Crashers, Pullback Racers. I didn't even know these were a thing until I saw these in the mini brands. Another fidget spinner. So we have two fidget toys within the same box. It does spin okay, but it's not enough to be considered a fidget spinner because there's no bearings inside, but it is a fidget toy. So you can keep it in your hand as you're waiting in between meetings, bus, office, classroom, wherever. But the design actually is pretty smooth. Putting your fingers right here just feels right. It's not flat. It has a little bit of an indent. So that's pretty cool. And then this is, oh, what? A metallic, get out of here. So we have our second rare of the day, which is a metallic foodie mini brands box. I'm a little disappointed that we are only getting boxes because as you can see here, the inside is just cardboard to make the cardboard not break down. Let's push you back in. But it looks like we got the entire set of metallic. It's only two different ones, the Spirograph and the Mini Brands Foodies. So basically these two are the only ones that are metallic and they're only boxes. They could have done way more than that, but it takes a little bit more budget, let's say. First, another fidget spinner. Now this fidget spinner is different because we know that this is the only one in the set that is white because it is glow in the dark. So we're getting some rares. And let's hear that. Again, they don't spin too much, but they're pocket size enough for you to bring along with you. And let me show you what the glow in the dark looks like. And here it is straight out of the UV light. So it has to take a lot of light for it to be very bright. So yeah, it is definitely a limited edition rare glow in the dark. Oh, what is that? That's new. It's Angel High Color Change. Okay, we have a cute character on the inside. Really adorable. Kind of hard to see because of all the glare and the plastic around it. But here's what the character looks like. And here's the box. And we do... Oh my goodness. It even has glitter in the back. Okay, I love the gradient of the wings. Really loving the box. Very, very cute detail. I'm kind of curious if I can take this figurine out. You know what? I kind of want to. <laughs> I don't think I can though. Okay, I'm gonna start by trying to remove the outer layer wrapping and I'm probably going to ruin this. I don't think this is rare and I want to see, can I pull this out? The answer is no. I would have to break the actual box to get the figurine out, but here you have a better idea of what it looks like absolutely adorable. So we would need to break this somehow, but I don't want to do it at this time because I do not want to hurt myself and I think I would need a hammer and going outside. Do things that are potentially dangerous. Outside bad. It's not scary. Oh, that's new. That's definitely new. Another Play-Doh. Play-Doh Animal Crew. Where's my money? Is it my money? I love the fact that they started putting money in every single one. We have a stack of tiny tens. Look at that, I'm rich. Dinner's on me. <laughs> and it says Animal Crew. Now, I don't know why there's a pig inside the pig, but uh, right now we're gonna put the commercial of how you're supposed to interact with this figurine. And the character's name is Pigsley, but it looks like we can make our own tiny pigs in a tiny factory and then put it inside the pig. Are we making babies? Are we, are we making babies? <laughs> I kind of like this one. There's a lot going on. Even the box has a little bit of a slant to it. So it really is an original box to have as a miniature. Loving this. This looks like a fidget toy. This is clearly a fidget toy. Yeah, this is a fidget spinner. Again, no ball bearings. So it's not gonna really spin too much. That's about it, but it is portable. And we get the blue ranger. And he's missing his mouth. What? Why is there no paint on the face? Wait a dosh darn darn minute. The previous Blue Ranger we got actually has paint job done around the mouth. This one, they're like, it's good enough. <laughs> now we have a card against the humanity box, which basically looks like a sandwich box. Very uninteresting as a collectible figurine. Maybe that's just me. I really don't like the boxes. A controller. So there are 90 to collect. We did get a hundred figurines, so we're definitely going to be seeing those doubles come in real hard now. But again, still very interesting to push on the buttons here. Still pretty soft and pretty quiet and very portable. Oh. Oh, the burrito. Throw, throw, burrito, a dodgeball card game. Now, I don't know how this is going to be played. If it's kind of dangerous, if you got to throw it against people's face, maybe they're plushies. It's not too bad. As long as there's no substance to them, you're going to knock yourself. But they're really cute, tiny burritos. If you want to see what this looks like unboxed, I did do that in the previous video, so I did take them out of the box. And here's what the back looks like. I guess they just basically explain the game. And no, don't worry, 
There's not much going on other than the two burritos on the inside. And of course my money. This looks to be fives. Yeah, stacks of five. USA money is really hard to tell apart because they're all the same color. Whereas Canadian money is all different color. It's Monopoly. It's easy to tell your fives from your tens from your twenties. Then again, nobody really uses cash anymore. <laughs> Oh, littlest pet shop. We have a little monkey. Not a fan of monkeys. No kind of figurine of monkeys will be my thing. But I do love the box and the design of the box over here. It looks really, really fun and colorful and playful. And here's what the back looks like. I'm kind of disappointed that the back doesn't have the other figurines in the collection, but it is still pretty cute. I didn't know these were still a thing. I thought it was pretty old school, but I guess they're still making them. And another box. What are you? We have Dungeons and Dragons box. What is this supposed to be? It's a board game. This is basically what the board game looks like. It looks like it's more of a card game than a board game, but okay. Oh, and it is upside down. I don't know why. So this is the box. And in order to see the back, instead of turning it this way, like you normally would, it is indeed upside down. So you have to turn it around. Let's take our other boxes. So if we look at the Foodie Mini Brands box, in order to see the back, you just turn it around and it is right side up. If I were to turn it around this way, it's upside down. But for some reason, the D&D one is upside down for some reason. Oh, that's new. We have a retro looking controller. I think this is supposed to be similar to the SNES. Let's put it side by side here. And the buttons again are really soft, really fun to push in. They don't make any kind of noise, hear that? So it's perfect to take out and put in your pocket and use it as a tiny fidget. Loving this. But the only issue is, why is it dirty? Why are there dirt speckles? That's weird. Oh, shopping cart. I'm not going to assemble the shopping cart. If you're curious what it looks like, here it is on the screen. They basically look the same and they also don't fit any of the materials that you get in the boxes. They're not compatible. <laughs> okay, why did you open like that? That was weird. Okay, we get another, what is that? I thought this was going to be a ball character. What the shrimp? Okay, there's kind of a figurine on the inside. It's called Crystal Flyers. This is a really difficult product to see. My goodness. And I can definitely see there's a kind of fairy on the inside. They could have done, they, they could have done this way better, but it's really hard to see. Here's what the actual figurine is supposed to look like on the screen here for you. So you can see what it looks like with the box and here it is outside of the box because I am very curious. But yeah, we have a fairy character on the inside. And again, I think the only way to take it out is going to be to break it. I'm very disappointed in this. Would have loved to see it. And the Blue Ranger! Why do we get the Blue Ranger again? Does the paint work better? Yeah. Does the paint work better? Wow. English number one. Well, the paint work is better on this one, so that's not too bad. Wait, I'm supposed to get some money. Where's it? There's my money. We have it a stack of 50. Very nice. In my stack safe you go. <laughs> And a bloom. This is actually the bloom version that I reviewed back when, when I did this with my sister. So if you do want to watch that video, I will link it down below. It is quite the experience, but I will not spoil it. Maybe I'll spoil it. Here's what it looks like when it comes out of the box. She doesn't even stand. Orange slice is open. A littlest pet shop. So we have another tiny monkey. A Tamagotchi, this is getting quite as familiar. Nothing special here. I really would love to see a rose gold. Let's try it. Hopefully, we've already gotten so many different ones, but I would love to see a rose gold rare. And of course, still hoping for, for the frozen moments. Still hoping. We've spent so much money on these and a hundred of them. So let's see if there's any chance. How much out of a hundred chance do you have? This is new, Cluedo. I guess it's kind of like murder mystery. Yeah, it's a mystery game and it looks to be a board game, yes. Okay, so it's a murder mystery, again, just the box. So very meh about that. Oh, another shopping cart, which we will not put together. They're just different colors. Oh, what's this? What's this? No, I thought it was rose gold. It is not rose gold. It is a bust called Sparker Girls with a Z. So this Sparker Girls is to practice hair styling. I never liked playing with dolls when I was one. <laughs> it's just too much maintenance. I don't like anything with too much maintenance. But yeah, it definitely looks like a character and not very similar to this one and neither similar to the backing. Very different faces everywhere. Oh wait, I almost forgot the maman. Let's take a maman. This is my fixation now. I have hyper fixated on the tiny monies. And it is, ooh, stacks of a hundred. What? I think that's our first hundred stack. Oh, look at that. Okay, not lunch on me, dinner's on me. Dinner's more expensive for the exact same things. In you go. 
You know what I'm about to say. Plop. Come on, rose gold. No, we get an Angry Birds Crasher, but the label is upside down. Somebody didn't do quality control. So this is not supposed to be upside down. This sticker is actually supposed to be the other way around so that text actually matches the figurine. Here's what the character looks like. Definitely an angry bird and a cute little car. Here's what the back looks like. Not angry. What? Is this torn? What happened here? Why is this box neglected? Yo, why? What's gold? What is that? A kinetic sand box. Is this? Is this special? Is this gold? I think this is gold. Give me a second. No. This here is the gold version. This one is not. It's supposed to look like a castle. But the color is pretty gold though. Aha! So as you can see here, it is indeed a common, despite the fact that it is absolutely gold. I mean, they could have gotten away with it and just made it a gold version, right? That's just me. But that means we still have a chance at getting the rose gold, since you can only get one special per box. All right. No! Exploding kittens! This is an actually fun game for those of you who haven't played this. It's really fun and even the instruction video of how to play this game is hilarious and pretty well animated. But this is nonetheless a box inside a box. So, not a fan of it. Rose gold! No. We have a shelf. I shall not put the shelf together because I've put quite a few of them together but here it is on the screen what it looks like when it's finally actually done. But I know my money somewhere. That's not it. Just my money in here, but what do we get? We get a box. We get another Dosh Garn box. We have the tiny money. And this is the everything box, Cards Against the Humanity, where it looks basically like a bagel with cream cheese. I was really hoping for something special here after unboxing a hundred of them. We do get tiny tens. If anything, my safe at least is filled up after today. But yeah, here's everything that we got. We got a hundred, a hundred of these mystery boxes and not one of them is the rose gold or the frozen moments. So for those of you hoping to get a frozen moment, just know that your chances are less than one in a hundred. Probably way more less than that. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. And if you want to watch the previous unboxing, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.